Now, Tech Tuesday with David Powell. Today we're discussing 3D TV, several sporting events being televised in 3D. A lot of people are now asking about this new technology. So the question to start off with, David, how does it work and how is this 3D technology different than what we're used to in, in generation, you know, a few decades ago when it first came out? We're used to seeing those pictures of like the old drive-in movies in the 1950s of the people sitting there with their red and the green, you know, little glasses on watching it. And that's really, you know, kind of went out of vogue and then came back now. A lot of movies are coming out in 3D, but that's a passive technology on the glasses. So the glasses are... Um, is a color driven thing so where the colors if you look at the screen look a little different and by putting those glasses on your eyes it allows you to see it in a little bit different way the new technology for 3d like in the home are active glasses so when you put the glasses on they look very star trek like and they have little screens in them and it allows you to see full hd in each eye and so what it's doing is it's taking the image from the tv and it's kind of running it through this little uh, computer lens if you will in the glasses and then rendering it in full 3d in your eyes so it's actually a better experience in, in the home environment than even at the movie theater, is that right? That's as far right. as the 3D is concerned. You're a little bit closer, uh, typically in a home environment. You can control the viewing angles a little better. So uh, because it's related to the distance between your eyes, in a theater, they have to do it for everybody and where they might be sitting. At home, you know, you can say, okay, this is the best spot to see 3D and wear the glasses to, to see that the best. Now, 3D is not for everyone. Who would it not be good for? You, you're telling me some people can't even actually sense or see the 3D. That's right. There's uh, 5 to 10% of the population have this very kind of different eye issue where they can't see 3D at all. So 10% of the population is not going to be a good candidate at all. Secondarily, a lot of 3D they're kind of making for kids because it's, oh, fun, cool, for kids. And the um, distance of their eyes is different than the distance of adult eyes. So the viewing experience in like a movie that's geared for children that's in 3D, Alvin and the Chipmunks in 3D, something like that, is not going to be as good for the parents because their eyes are a different distance and they program that for the kids. Very interesting. Now your current TV cannot be upgraded to go to 3D. That's You're going to have to buy a new one. That's right. So what are these sets costing? And, and the glasses, they're pretty expensive themselves. <laughs> they're running about a three to $500 premium over your normal uh, TV. So, I mean, that's not an insignificant you know, number given that uh, not Nice high-end HD TVs prices have come down to you know thousand fifteen hundred bucks. So the five hundred dollar premium um, is a lot. Most of the sets only come with one set of glasses. Um, an additional set is one hundred fifty bucks. Oh my goodness! So, yeah. So the idea though that you have the Super Bowl party right to come see the game in HD. Now you have it come see the game in 3D, and are you really going to hand out you know, 10 sets of $150 goggles <laughs> to your friends, or are they going to be standing there with the goggles on, eating chips and dips? So I think there's kind of a practical component to it that they're going to have to kind of work through. Quickly, what, what are the reviews so far? Is it just a gimmick, or is this something that people are going to really enjoy? Well, I, I thought it would just be a gimmick, but all the reviews I read say that people really like it, and kind of again with like HD when it came out, HD looks best on golf and football. And they say the 3D looks great on golf, great on football. I'm not sure that people want to see you, know, you and I on, <laughs> on 3D. But, you know, from some, sport, <laughs> some sporting events, you know, it really looks good. And the right. reviews say it looks great. All right. Well, good stuff. Thank you so much. 3D TV, is it something for you? David Powell broke it down. I wonder if Alexa Jones coming into your living room would be interesting. Over to you. It would probably be interesting, but I'm not sure if it's something people would want. Depends.